What's going on everybody? Robert here. So I thought about a few topics to talk about as far as real estate advice goes. I was thinking about it and I think I finally found a topic. That topic is going to be mortgage insurance. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Now mortgage insurance is very, very important for the lender in case the home buyer or the mortgager is to default on the loan. So I thought that would be a great topic to cover today because I do not think many people understand what mortgage insurance is and they do not know which loans require you to have mortgage insurance. So we're going to go ahead and get into that today. But before we get into that, if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you go up and hit that red subscribe button. Also, turn on that notification bell so you guys get notified every single time I post a video on here. What is mortgage insurance? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's insurance for whatever you have in mortgage. Also, this insurance will cover part of your loan if you were to ever default as the borrower. Now guys, I need to tell you that it's very important that you understand that you as the borrower will be paying this mortgage insurance. It's not the lender. Even though that insurance protects the lender, you as the borrower will be paying it. Why, you may ask? Well, it's very simple. If you as the borrower cannot come up with 20% down as a down payment on the mortgage, then the bank wouldn't even loan you any money at all for a home. The insurance, however, will lower the risk for the bank saying that, okay, if they were to default before they get 20% equity built up into that loan, we will go ahead and cover part of that loan. You should absolutely note that mortgage insurance does not protect you as the borrower or mortgager. It only protects the lender. If you ever default on a loan, your credit score will be hit, not just hit, but significantly hit, and you run the risk of losing your home. And this will be done through foreclosure. All right, guys, so there's a ton of information here, so I'm going to be as thorough as I can, yet simplifying it so that you are able to understand it. First, let's look at the types of loans that we have and what type of mortgage insurance would go with those loans. You have four types of loans. You have the conventional loan, the FHA loan, which stands for Federal Housing Administration, and they are a department with inside of HUD, Housing and Urban Development. You also have the VA loan, which stands for Veterans Administration. Then we have the USDA loan, which stands for United States Department of Agriculture. First, let's go ahead and talk about conventional loans. It is important to note that conventional loans are not backed up by the government. They are provided by private mortgage lenders. Also, conventional loans are the most common type of loan, yet they are very difficult to attain financing. The mortgage insurance that comes with conventional loans is what we call PMI, private mortgage insurance. Depending on how much money you decided to put down at closing, will ultimately depend how much PMI that you pay every single month. Someone who puts down 15% will pay a lot less PMI than someone who only put down 5%. Now when paying this PMI, 99% of the time it is rolled up into your monthly payment whenever you pay your mortgage every month. Now I'm going to tell you the best thing about conventional loans and private mortgage insurance. Once you have 20% equity built up in the property, you no longer have to pay private mortgage insurance. So the next type of loan I wanna talk about is the FHA loan. Now, FHA loans are backed by the government. They're actually backed by the Federal Housing Administration, hence the name FHA. If you are a first time home buyer, most likely going to get this loan. Reason B, because you can get this loan with as little as 3.5% down, have a low credit score. Now with this loan, you guys are going to be end up paying mortgage insurance premiums. And also abbreviated would be MIP. But don't get these confused with conventional loans. Conventional loans use PMI. Now we're talking about FHA loans, so now it's MIP. If you are a first time home buyer, you're most likely going to end up with this loan because you can come in as low as three and a half percent down and you can have a low credit score. Now the one main problem with this loan is that you're going to be paying these premiums, these mortgage insurance premiums for the entire lifetime of that loan. No! 
it's not like with conventional loans, once you hit the 20%, you're done paying insurance. Now, once you hit the 20%, you continue to pay every single month until either that loan is paid off, you fault on the loan and the home is foreclosed on, or you just die. Also, another thing to note is that just like conventional loans, the MIP is rolled up into your monthly payment. Now let's go ahead and talk about VA loans. VA loans are reserved for members who are currently in the military as well as retired veterans. This loan is backed by the Department of Veterans Affairs. Another good thing about this loan is that veterans do not have to come in with any type of money down. Also, what's really cool about this is that there is no mortgage insurance tacked onto the loan. Or is it? You should know that VA loans do require what is called a funding fee. Now this funding fee can be paid up front or you can roll that funding fee into your loan payments. What's interesting about this funding fee is that if you do roll it up into your payments or you pay it up front, once you pay, you are now done with that funding fee. All right guys, finally, last but not least, we have the USDA loan. Now this loan is backed by the government. It is actually backed by the United States Department of Agriculture. Now with these loans, you typically do not need to put any money down. Borrowing cost for a USDA loan is probably going to be two times cheaper than FHA loans. When it comes to mortgage insurance, just like with the VA loan, you do not technically have mortgage insurance. Instead, what you have is what's called an annual premium. It's important to know that you're going to end up paying this premium for the lifetime of the loan every single year. So there are many types of loans out there. They all come with different types of mortgage insurance that go along with those loans. So it's important to know that whenever you're getting a loan, you understand what kind of mortgage insurance is going to come with that loan that you're receiving. If you guys have any more real estate questions that you guys would like to ask me or want me to answer on this channel, please let me know. Go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. Also, if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell notification so that you guys get notified every single time that I post content on here. Like, comment, and share. I can't wait to see you guys next time. Later.